Workation time! Hi guys and welcome to my Dehradun vlog! I'm in Dehradun right now and the flight here was really really nice. We took a direct flight from Bombay to Dehradun and then about an hour of a drive from Dehradun airport we reached Antara Senior Living. I have to be honest and tell you that the drive for me was not great. Those of you who've been following me for a while know very well that I don't do very well on the ghats. So we had to stop around midway and I kind of threw up. I don't know if this is too much information but I'm just letting you guys know that if you get road sick like me, pop a tablet, which I didn't do because I thought I would be okay but clearly I wasn't. We're here because my mom, my dad, my husband Gerard and I have all been invited by Antara Senior Living. This is a really unique space that we're at because it's a luxury, beautiful property with this amazing concept where the only people who are sort of sold property here, uh, when I say sold property, it's basically basically like a 60 year lease at this particular place are all 55 and above. I thought that it was very very apt that they invited me along with my parents because my parents are over 55 and uh, they find a place like this really really well suited to their needs and the way they would like to live someday. I have to tell you before we go into things that my vlog camera broke down a night before I was leaving for this trip. Those of you who follow me on Instagram saw me getting all upset about it but you know what I found a way and we're gonna do this. But first off I have to tell you everything that we did on day one. Okay so day one was a lot of introductions. We came into the property, got a good look at it. We did a little bit of a stroll around on our own. They have a beautiful pool as well as a gym area just next door to where we are. Antara Senior Living is spread across 14 acres out of which they've used up 12 acres in making these beautiful quarters that we're staying at. They have eight blocks or eight residences as they call them and we're living in one of the two BHK suites. Before we get into this suite, tour because normally it's a room tour right I want to give you guys a quick glimpse of what Antara senior living was like when we first got here they have a beautiful indoor pool which is completely temperature controlled they have a lovely gym they have an amazing lobby and they have a lot of greenery all across the space this particular gallery really caught my attention when I was passing by because there were some really lovely pieces of art over there. Apart from that, they have a lot of really nice recreational areas like they have a workshop area which doubles up for various activities that they hold over there. They have an amazing reading room. I have to tell you that this library slash reading room was absolutely amazing. Gerard and I completely took to it immediately because both of us absolutely love to read and Gerard even more than I. Their collection of books was super unique, very eclectic they had these beautiful loungers apart from which they had a lot of space to sit and read in general as well they also had computers powered up over there so in case you want to sit there and read something online you can do that too apart from which of course they had a ginormous collection of books right near to this they had another recreational area that had a really nice chess board I love to play chess I think I'm definitely going to give that a shot over this particular trip apart from which they also had a snooker table and they had like a common TV room because the property is meant for senior citizens you'll notice that a lot of it is very open very green they don't have steps anywhere they either have regular like slopes or they just have elevators which makes it really really convenient for the senior citizens people who get much much older because they come here to live a lot of times uh, either permanently or they come and stay here for a few weeks or months in a go it's completely at their choice uh, you know to kind of move around now I have to give you a glimpse of our suite our suite is a beautiful spacious two-bedroom hall kitchen that has a lovely TV area apart from which it has a really nice dining section too. Both rooms have attached baths apart from which there is a powder room outside and my parents let us have the bigger room even after we really tried to tell them to take the bigger one. They gave us the one with the attached balcony which is the master bed which is also really really nicely done. What I find really unique about the interiors and just the way the entire place is done because of course it's focused towards senior citizens is that all the switchboards are at such an accessible height that even if you're in a wheelchair you will be able to reach it apart from which the kitchen the bathrooms the living room every single corner like section of the house has a panic button so god forbid something were to go wrong immediately you hit the panic button and the amazing security will be there in seconds 
which brings me to something really really important because the first day was slightly tiring to us we had a really early dinner we had early dinner at a place called abika which is in the club area it's a really nice restaurant slash cafe i guess of sorts because they serve everything over there and we all had a delicious meal i thoroughly enjoyed my pasta jerry ordered for a fish curry my mom and my dad had a combination of chinese food and it was all really nice and yummy after we finished dinner we called in a night really early because we knew we were really tired from the travel in the day and we were really looking forward to day 2. Day 2 kicked off for me on a really interesting note. I first off went ahead and had breakfast with my dad. I had a masala omelet at Avika itself. I wanted to have a light breakfast because I was headed to my first yoga class over here. Now I find it really cool that they have like personalized yoga classes. They have a gym and they have all these other facilities and I made the most of my yoga class. I had a yoga session with a trainer named Anoop who was very helpful. He helped me stretch, he helped me get into the groove he warmed me up as you guys know i'm not someone who does yoga very often so when i get the chance to try something after so long i'm doing yoga for the first time since school i think i really genuinely had a great time doing it thankfully i was carrying some workout where i was aiming to go to the gym actually but i just decided to do yoga instead so i'm glad i was well equipped on that front and uh, i had a really nice 45 minute yoga session with anu after i was done with my yoga session i came back into the room freshened up chilled with my mom a little bit and then i went off to the spa the spa area is just near the gym area and it's actually really really beautifully done i had a great time i got a full body massage it was a 1 hour spa session and i felt like this looks this experience was what i needed after yesterday's super tiring day then i came back to my room freshened up took a quick shower and i was in time to go for lunch we had it for lunch by about 1:15 earlier today and we had an amazing uttarakhandi thali I have to tell you. So basically, they started it out with giving us a little local um, masala, you know, sort of achar of sorts with these little Indian nachos. I really don't know what they're called. They look like little nacho chips, and they were delicious to eat. And after that, we were given these Uttarakhandi thalis. I have never had a thali that tasted that good. They had everything from chicken to dals. Um, there was a hemp-based chutney which is local to Uttarakhand and to Dehradun. Food was just really, really yummy. We had this meal also at Avika. and we actually got a chance to get the download of what exactly the food philosophy of Aldara Senior Living is straight from the chef i'm going to give you guys a glimpse now because i thought that this would really interest you even the desserts use the brown sugar so those kind of things are there plus our menu is very seasonal every 4 months we change the menu altogether based out of the seasons and we also follow you know ultra local cuisine concept where we procure things from in and around the Uttarakhand and you'll be having those kind of things today itself as well so probably you'll love it and uh, yeah about cuisine philosophy uh, also another thing is that since we are catering to very sensitive uh, you know sect of uh, people around here we have to take care of their health in a very personal way every person is different so we have a you know preference sheet where we Uh, record the dietary preferences first and then we you know work on that they, they don't have to share us share with us the dietary preferences again and again considering that this place is meant for older people it's meant for senior citizens it was so nice to see them um just sort of put so much thought behind what they're serving After lunch I had the chance to go on a show around with Mr Ashish who handles the community development here at Antara. He told us the overall thinking on behind what they thought while building this entire property, how they were looking and aiming at senior living, how they wanted it to be a luxurious experience for people who are growing old and uh, just in general I personally felt like it was very insightful to understand that they're all here because they are all like minded people i feel like as indians we sometimes tend to grow up thinking of uh, old age homes as the stereotype but this is not what antara is it's actually a really nice luxurious experience like i would love to be here when i'm older because they have everything from badminton courts to tennis courts gyms spas pools and at the same time because when you're older you want to hang around with people who are around your age group i feel like it's a really great community that they're looking to build so he took us all around the property to talk 
walked to us i got to see some beautiful views no two houses in this particular entire property in antara uh, are the same so even if there's two two bhks they will not be the same the layout might be different one might have a smaller balcony one might have a bigger balcony or they'll have completely different views for example they have everything from valley facing views to you know the center like the garden area facing uh views of homes it was all really really stunning to see uh, and to understand the philosophy of to me i love digging into new cultures i love understanding uh the idea between why something is created i mean something like a senior living space is something uh i didn't completely understand the concept of till i came here which is why i agreed to come here because i wanted to understand what the place was what it has to offer and why it is unique which i think i'm getting a sense of now this place is so luscious it has so much greenery around it the weather here obviously is absolutely fabulous you have the masuri hills on one side and the shivali i think hills on the other side i'm going to double check the name and correct myself in case i get the name wrong in the frame here uh, but it's just been such a nice experience i feel like uh, my parents are here with me right and they're really enjoying it because they feel like this is so nice and chill and like my dad is retired and he feels like this is the kind of place that you really do want to get away to after a point um because you just want to like slow down sometimes and have a good time and meet people who are like only around your age group and mingle be social within a certain circle um so it's been really really interesting to me this is day 2 that i'm on right now and i still have the evening left i am still going to go for dinner later today so i'm going to keep taking you guys with me uh but yes there are lots of glimpses i want to give you and hopefully you'll enjoy this vlog it is going to be slightly different from my other vlogs in general because this travel experience is different from my other vlogs um but apart from that it's also different because you're not seeing me talk to the camera because of my vlog in camera situation that you guys know about because of my instagram stories but yes i'm going to go now i'm going to catch a quick nap before we go ahead and uh, step out for the evening and uh, maybe play some games when we go play chess that's something i really want to do let's see i'm going to go and uh, come back to you guys in a bit Hi guys so it's day 3 here in Dehradun and all of us right now are on our way to Masuri because we had this day pretty much free and we had explored Antara a lot we decided to step out and look at what was around my parents are here with us as well that's my daddy and there's mom mom say hi so they're going to be staying back and going to Masuri after we go back tomorrow but we wanted to go and spend some time in Masuri so that's what we're doing right now it's about a 45 minute car drive up the ghats so yeah this time i have had an avamai and i will not get sick hopefully but uh, going to go up check out the weather see what's around we have about 2 to 3 tourist spots we've already shortlisted that we definitely want to check out and of course you guys are going to come along so let's go and enjoy this road trip So we're somewhere in the middle of Masuri and this place is so pretty. Each of you have to I insist go to the Landor Bakehouse if you are this side because we had the most amazing like bakery items like croissants and breads and cakes and stuff. You must go there when and if you're here. Just here at Antara before I go up to my room, make sure my bag is packed properly, and head to the airport. My parents are staying back in Masuri. They're going to be here for another four to five days, but G and I are heading home. The weather is so lovely. I'm looking forward to this last breakfast. Their food is really, really good over here. And just see how pretty the place looks. Well, today is the fourth, but four amazing days here in Dehradun with Antara Senior Living. We're on our way back to the airport to head back home, and uh, 
Of course, as you guys already know, my parents are staying back in Missouri and will be uh, here for the next week before they come back home as well. I just want to say a huge thank you to Andara for being such a fabulous host. They were so good with the attention to detail. They were so good with their service, the staff. Everyone was absolutely great. The food was phenomenal. I'm so glad I ate healthy while I was here for four days. And uh, if you guys are coming up north, I urge you to come and take a look at this property. I also really appreciate that they're out there to bust the myth about senior homes that prevail in our country. My parents, for example, are people who actually have considered this for themselves because they themselves feel like they want to be around people who are in their age group. They want to uh, live in a luxury home. They don't necessarily want to live their urban lives after a certain age. In fact, I even got a couple of Instagram comments asking me whether I'm here to leave them behind. And I'm just like, no, they're not a commodity. I'm not going to leave them behind. I don't even live with my parents in any case because I'm married and I've moved out. But my parents actually did make an inquiry to Antara a year and a half ago when they had just opened. That is something that they're considering for themselves. And it's a personal choice, right? Whatever way you want to live your old age is a personal call which i think is really really uh, something for each person to consider they want to live a luxurious life far away from the urban uh, you know fast-paced traffic and pollution and that kind of a lifestyle they want to get away from that uh, as a personal call of theirs i'm okay with whatever they eventually decide but uh, they are definitely a little more keen on that since this property has been really really great in uh, in giving them that kind of an experience uh, right from the point that they have handlebars going across railings everywhere for senior citizens to the fact that the property is so wheelchair friendly um, or the fact that they have panic buttons in every room kitchen bathroom that you're in those little little attention to details are just something to consider they even give us shawls by uh, the outside we were trying to dine outside last night it was really really cold and they had like a pile of shawls on standby for all of their residents um, because in case it gets cold they don't want to have them needing to go up to their rooms to get shawls they had shawls there on standby for everyone so like these little little things which really went a long way in making sure our experience was as great as it was and as residents they experienced this on a regular basis depending on how much time they choose to spend at Antara some people live there full time some people come and go basis their choice again um, but I'm gonna end this vlog here now it's been a really really great four days I'm glad we did this I'm glad that I don't live with my parents and it was just so nice to be around them for four days in a row because I haven't lived with them since two years now since I got married and uh, it's just been a really nice uh, getaway for us as, as a family. I wish my brother and Bhabi could have made it but anyway we had we made the most of our time and uh, yeah I will see you guys in my next vlog. You know the drill if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment your favorite part of the video down below in the comments. Uh, make sure you catch up with my Instagram because a lot of pictures from these four days will be up on Instagram. Some of them are already up on Instagram and of course before you go away subscribe and hit that subscribe bell button so that you get notifications when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much.